Hey guys, it is Diane at livingthegoddesslife.com and also from venuspolefitness.com, which is probably where most of you know me from. But today I have a Transparent Tuesday, um, hashtag Transparent Tuesday, uh, video, which is actually twofold because I don't want to put just something out there without there being some little bit of insight or nugget for you to take away and be able to apply it to your everyday life. So hopefully you find this video helpful. Um, I'm going to start with a little bit of a story. Last week, I posed every week in my Goddess Body University program. I have an online program and I also have my in-studio program and they have a private Facebook page where a lot of awesome stuff goes on. I had posted a um, challenge for them. And although it is a, a lifestyle program that teaches them about fat loss and nutrition and exercise and healthy living in general, there is also a lot of stuff that I try to implement that goes on between the ears, which is mindset stuff and helps tremendously with their journey in being fit, sexy, and confident. At least I have seen happen. And one of the challenges I posed last week was, um, I wanted all the ladies to let me know 10 things that they would tell their 18 year old self if they could go back in time. And for some of them, that wasn't that long ago. And for some of them, that was, you know, some ladies, it was, you know, over 30, some, you know, close to 40 years ago, uh, that that was the case for them. And I was so blown away by the responses. I had so much, um, so much gratitude, you know, that filled my heart for let these women that shared their stuff with me. Um, you know, everything from, you know, one of my gals was, you know, saying, look how far, you know, if she could tell her 18 year old self, she'd tell herself, look how far you've come, be proud of yourself. Um, you know, guilt is something you don't keep You're, you know, just so many great, insightful little tidbits. Um, Jessica said, you know, um, do things that make you happy, you know, don't second guess yourself. Uh, a couple of the other girls trust your intuition. So lots of great insights that, you know, you maybe don't think about every single day because who really thinks about that kind of stuff until it's brought to your attention. So it's just kind of like a gratitude type thing. So I sort of sat on that all week and watched everybody's posts and I, you know, some of them moved me to tears and it was absolutely wonderful to watch and I was dying to jump in because I partake in the group a lot and I post my daily updates, um, which is something the girls do. They let me know how they're doing with their food and their nutrition and their motivation and I do that as well and I did not reply to my own challenge because I had so many conflicting, you know, things going on with that. Well, fast forward through the week and we're in the process of moving, um, which I'm in my new office. Yay. And, uh, I was on my way home and I had to stop to pick up some cleaning supplies and I stopped over at Walmart and it just so happened to be May 1st and it was crazy there. And I, um, stood in line and it just took me aback for a second because there was a lady in front of me and, um, she was paying with her, uh, food stamps. And I get, now I guess they do them on like a, a card. It's called like EBT or whatever. And then, um, poor thing was like scrambling for her money and she was stressed out because there wasn't enough money on her card and, uh, she was shaking and she was super nervous. She kept apologizing. And I just looked over and I was like, take, you know, take your time. I'm in no rush. And even if I was, I was like, it's totally fine. Like you're good. And then it hit me all of a sudden, um, that, you know, one of the things that was on my mental radar for my, you know, if I could go back and talk to my 18 year old self was, to be proud of yourself. And that was something that was very, very hard for me to do. Um, I'm going to share some photos with you guys so you can kind of take a look at where I was when I was 18 years old. So, um, when I was 18, this was me at my winter formal. And I don't know if you can see me, but I'm very pregnant in that picture. Um, I was about 17. This was November, December ish. And, um, yeah, I can honestly say that was a very awkward dance for me, but I was determined and hell bent to partake in all school activities. So at 17, 
things are a little bit different for, for me than probably a lot of people out there. Um, and then when I was 18, this is me at graduation. I've been hunting for this photo. I don't know if you guys can see it there, but I'm in my, my gown and that's my little, my little guy there who is now in, not a little guy anymore. He's in South Korea. And then, um, you know, shortly after, let's see, this is probably what June is when, you know, graduation is. So he was about six months there. And then three months later, I was pregnant again with my daughter. So um, I was pre pregnant uh, twice in 96. <laughs> and so shortly after that, this is me with my daughter and my son. I think I was uh, 19 and a half-ish or something like that here in this photo. So, so you know, just that's just my little quick... I have tons of other great photos, of course. I'm a mom. I like to brag about my kids, and they're so cute. But um, the point of it being that, you know... You can persevere through adversity. Um, I sat in, you know, I stood in Walmart and I just brought me back to um, being that age. And, um, you know, at that time being a single mom, you know, their father was present for a very short time and then poof, he was gone. So at the picture that you saw with my son and my daughter, I was a single mom. I was a single mom when I was actually eight months pregnant with her doing everything by myself. I was living with my parents, but, um, so yeah, you know, I was a I was on state assistance, on welfare, on Medi-Cal, on WIC, which is the Women, Infants, and Children program, which gives you free like milk, bread, cheese, apple juice. I don't know what, what they do now, but so it was about five years when I was on government assistance. And, you know, it was something that I was really ashamed of and I was very embarrassed about. And, you know, I never knew then, obviously, that what I was going through would make me the strong you know, confident and just gung ho person that I am now to not fail and to not give up and to keep trying. And whether it goes from, you know, business or financial to fitness and health or, um, you know, raising my kids, whatever the case may be, I just really believe that everybody has it within them to succeed and don't give up. So, this video went a little longer than I wanted to wanted it to because I don't want to keep you guys for too long. But just want you to know that anything is possible. Put your mind to it. Whether you're just starting a fitness journey, whether um, you just started a new job, or you're looking to make a career jump, um, nothing is you know change can happen. You don't have to just be completely complacent and um, think that you can't change or do things. I have done so much. And, you know, back in the day, everyone thought, oh, she's not going to do anything with her life. And she's just, you know, she's going to be a single teenage pregnant mom on welfare. And that's just how things are going to be for her. And, you know, I just would not stop learning, would not stop growing, would not give up. And um, that's my message to you is don't give up. Keep persevering through adversity, through the tough times, and it will all be for a reason that will definitely, I strongly believe in that. Everything happens for a reason. So that is my Transparent Tuesday. Hopefully this message set well with you today and hopefully it was something you needed to hear. And if you know somebody who's maybe struggling or having a hard time that you think maybe they need to hear the same story, then please share my video and let them know that it is all going to be okay. It all turns out okay in the end. You just have to believe in yourself. So thanks so much for watching, and I hope that you stick around and maybe catch some more of my crazy videos next week.